This video introduces planting in CS Artisan RV, Web Integrated Landscape for Revit. We are going to be working with the sample landscape project and placing planting as single specimens, hedges and areas, both as individual species and mixes. Plants will be hosted automatically on the topography and sized according to specification information. Plants will be aged to represent 15 years growth from initial planting. Schedules will dynamically reflect changes made to the model for detailed planting specifications, planting bed and tree pit takeoffs. Planting is created by selecting from palettes that are created and managed via the cloud-based palette builder. Please see the separate video CSD Palette Builder for an overview of creating, editing and outputting from the Palette Builder. Palettes are downloaded to local machines to enable users to operate offline when selecting plants to place in models. Select a palette from the downloaded palette list. We are going to select single planting to place individual trees on the western bank of the model. The selected plant is displayed and specification information can be edited as required. Plants are sized as defined by specification parameters unless the model has been aged. Currently in this model plants are aged by 15 years. The location parameter is used to structure model information and the trees are to be placed in the west bank area in the model. A connecting line is required between all the trees to be placed. Tag options are defined as required and can be applied to all instances or as a single label. Tags can be customized based on a combination of parameters and free text using the validate control to test new templates. Pick Place Planting and locate the trees as required. Plants are automatically hosted on the underlying topography as can be seen in the 3D view to the right. On completion the trees are sized to 15 years from planting in the current model with the tag and connecting line displayed in the plan view. Foliage colour is automatically applied based on details contained in the underlying palette. Planting information can be modified using the edit control, enabling us to substitute plants, change specification information, update location details, alter tags and modify the age of the selected plants independently of the rest of the model. Performance and characteristic information is displayed via dynamic links to the CSD web repository. Note how the height and spread is updated on the fly as the growth slide bar is moved. Save changes or close to ignore modifications. Linear planting, including hedges and avenues, is placed using model lines created in plan view. Select a plant and pick Place Linear Item. Select Project onto Topography so that the hedge we are about to place follows the terrain. A maximum maintenance height and width can be set for a hedge defining design intent and clipping the age or grow routine. We will edit this planting later to show a hedge in the model. Tags and location are defined as with single planting. Pick place planting and select the model line in the plan view. Linear planting is draped on the topography and sized according to specification criteria and model age. To change the linear planting to a hedge, use Edit Planting. Select Places Hedge and define the maximum maintenance sizes. Pick Save Changes to convert the planting to a hedge. Area planting can be applied to split topos, floors, subregions and native Revit areas and as with linear planting can be defined as a single species or a mix. We're going to place a woodland mix in the area in indicated by the model line on the slope next to the trees we've just placed. The first thing we need to do is to define a split topo based on the model line we've created. 
This is done by selecting the full topography and then defining the boundary of the new topo using pick lines. Converting the new split topo to a floor will enable us to quantify the material buildup of the multi-level woodland area. Pick topo to floor and select the new topo. Select the woodland floor type and move topo to bottom face. Pick process to create the woodland floor type. From create planting I'm going to pick an alder woodland mix to place on the new floor created from the split topo. Edit specification information including centers if required. Define a location and tagging options. Compact labels provide a codified abbreviation for tagging mixes made up of a plant code and instance count. Options are available for applying a fill pattern and edge graphic to the area planting. Pick place planting and select the woodland floor we have just created. Area planting is placed with edge effect and hatch pattern in the plan view and as parametric area planting in the 3D view. The tag shows mix name and area and mix components and associated plant numbers. To switch to compact labels use edit planting. Pick use compact label. Define a plant code, in this case we'll use AWM. Save changes to display the compact label. Here we'll see AWM is the plant code we just added and dash one is the instance count. If another occurrence of the older woodland mix is placed in this model, this will use the compact code AWM-2. Planting schedules dynamically display planting information in the model. Default options for plants include full planting schedule, planting schedule by location and planting schedule by mix and class. This schedule is sorted by location and then by plant class. Planting beds have been created as Revit floors like the alder woodland we have just created. Floors enable us to create compound multi-layer structures with defined thicknesses. Viewing a section enables us to see the material build-up of the planting beds. Planting bed schedules quantify material takeoffs. This one is sorted by location and planting bed type. Tree pits are based on the required soil volume, material build-up, pit dimensions and align to the host topography. Ultimate canopy spread is displayed in plan view and acts as a quick visual prompt for tree pit specification. From the visibility graphic overrides select planting artisan ultimate spread. Ultimate canopy spread is displayed as a dashed circle around all trees in the model in plan view. We will place tree pits for the avenue of trees bordering the access road to the west and north of the building. Pick Tree Pit Create and select trees as required. Pick Finish to complete the selection. Define the tree pit by selecting the type. The dimensions of the tree pit are calculated automatically based on the ultimate canopy spread of the selected tree and the defined tree pit profile. Create tree pits to place under the selected trees. Tree pits are created for the trees bordering the access road and are displayed in both the plan view and 3D view. Section views show the tree pit in relation to the topo, so we will draw a section and then go to view.
The section view shows the material build-up for the tree pits. The tree pits schedule shows the material build-up for the tree pits we've just created. These are sorted by location.